All right, we are ready for chapter five in the year of the dog. To get to school, Lissy and I had to walk down the street to the bus stop. Next year, Lissy wouldn't be going to the bus stop with me. Lissy was almost a teenager. Next year, she would go to junior high school on a different bus, and then I would be the only Chinese girl in the whole elementary school. But I'm not really Chinese either. It's kind of confusing. My parents came from Taiwan. Some people thought Taiwan was part of China. So then calling me Chinese was kind of correct. Other people thought Taiwan was a country all by itself. So then I should be called Taiwanese. It didn't help that my parents spoke both Chinese and Taiwanese. So when people ask me what I am, what am I supposed to tell them? I once asked mom. Tell them that you're American, mom told me. But my friends didn't call me Chinese, Taiwanese, or American. They called me Grace, my American name. One of my friends at school was Becky Williams. Becky was tall, with hair as brown as a tree bark. At recess, I told her that it was the Chinese New Year. It was the Chinese year of the dog. So we drew dogs on the ground with chalk. I taught Becky how to draw a dog, just like the ones I drew for our New Year's decorations. What does it mean when it's the year of the dog? Becky asked. Does it mean Scruffy gets to boss me around? Maybe he'll eat at the dinner table and I'll have to eat on the floor. I laughed, but I didn't know how to explain it. Chinese people give every, anim every year an animal sign, I tried to explain. You know how horoscopes use animals for some months? Well, for Chinese people, it's for every year. When is it the year of the unicorn, Becky asked. I love unicorns. I shook my head. I don't think that there's the year of the unicorn. Becky looked really disappointed, so I tried to think of something. But maybe during leap year or something they have a unicorn day. Really? What do they do on unicorn day? Um, I scrambled because now I was completely lying. They draw pictures of unicorns and hang them up, and sometimes there's a parade. Cool, said Becky, excited. Will you tell me when that day is and we can celebrate it? Okay, I said, but I hoped that by the time a leap year came, she would forget all about it. Like an alarm clock, the bell rang, and we lined up to go to the cafeteria. It was spaghetti day. Yum. I love spaghetti, even though I always thought it was strange that they served it with an ice cream scoop. The spaghetti always looked like tennis balls on my plate. But when I went to take my plate, the lunch lady stopped me. Hey, she said, I just saw you. You already took a lunch. Everyone only gets one. No, I said, I didn't. This is my first time. Yes, you did, the lunch lady said. You took spaghetti and french fries. No, I said, I didn't get anything. Are you sure, the lunch lady said. I know it was you. It wasn't, Becky said. Honest. The lunch lady gave me a lunch, but I could tell she didn't believe us. She kept shaking her head and looking at me suspiciously. When we went to sit down, Becky nudged me. Look over there, she said, pointing. That's why the lunch lady thought you already got your lunch. I looked where she was pointing, and I saw a girl that looked Chinese, just like me. I hadn't noticed her before because she had been all bundled up in a fuzzy scarf and a hat. She was brand new, and I couldn't wait to meet her. All right, we're ready for chapter six.